go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Yo, what's up? Oh, what's up, people? Ah, the new wheel. Thanks, sweet. Thanks, sweet. Welcome to the broadcast tonight. Merry Christmas to you. Oh, we got a broadcast full on tonight, my friends. It's the Merry Christmas edition. Whoo, Render Wrestling's Polaris, presented by the Global Sport Council. We got this match. We got this match coming up. One all-pro match. Gonna kick things off with it. And then we got a hell of a night. Hell of a Christmas night. Santa done dropped a bomb of a good show for us. So let's uh let's take a look right here at the spinner. Who's our two competitors in this the 13th? 13th all pro wrestling cup match. Joe, RVD, me, me, Osborne, me and Osborne, Okada. Okada and Brandon, Brandon. Oh, yeah, yes. No, I'm done. I might want to wrestle tonight. I might want to wrestle tonight, but no, no, I'm done. I'm done till the finale. Oh no, it ain't no Osborne, brother. That is, <laughs> that's great news. That's great news. So you will see right y'all. Brandon and Brandon represent the Global Sport Council one-on-one. -on -one. Again, it's going to see for the first time in this series, Kazuka Okada, the Rainmaker himself. Quite possibly the greatest champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling history. Rigged! <laughs> Quite the opposite, my friend. Quite the opposite. Let's get it in there. And I swear, if the Kane nameplate comes up one more time, I'm going to lose my fucking shiznit. And Brandon, Brandon. You want any accompaniment in this match? I'll come out. Miles will come out. Miles can come out. Rizomek can come out. Represent Global Sport Council, you know. Sasha, you got it. Sa Sasha. Sasha. Attire five. Okay. Everything looks good here. Okay. You did come up for her last week. That's right. That is fair. All right. Let's not waste any time. It's Christmas, folks. It's Christmas. What the fuck are you doing here on the broadcast? But I'm glad you're here all the same, man. As we travel, man, you got to pump it up. You got to turn it up so they can hear you in the back, baby. Let's get in. Let's get hyped. Time, space, and dimension becomes just another shape and another sight for you to behold as you travel right here to Scuff City, USA, baby. We are live. Oh, my God. We are live on Christmas Day. 14,616 crazy sons of bitches going crazy in Scuff City, USA. 
Merry Christmas from the Global Sport Council as we present Wender Wrestling's Hilarious. Here tonight, oh, we got a night of action. Oh, we got a night of action for y'all here tonight, my God in heaven. For real. Jeez, there's the boom. We're gonna kick things off with our 13th All-Pro Wrestling Cup match. The Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada, goes one-on-one -on -one with one half of the World Tag Team Champions. And one of the main events of the untitled finale representing not just the California Collective, the Global Sport Council as a whole, Mr. Brandon. Brandon, so we're gonna kick things off. Whoop. After we kick things off, we're gonna head to All-Star Championship Division action. The young upstart Maggie Green looking good in a couple of appearances, going one-on-one -on -one with the former All-Pro Wrestling Champ, Asuka, the Empress of today, tomorrow, and whenever the hell you wanna be. And then in tag team action, Toxic Attraction making their tag team debut. You saw Mandy Rose come out. Oh yeah. I got an impress with Gigi in the house. Gigi Dolan is in the house. Mandy Rose is in the house. You saw, all right. Oh, the fix was in. Oh, the, it, was, it was me all along, Austin. It was Mandy Rose coming down, lending a hand, making her appearance known. She's done with WWE, but she's not done with pro wrestling, folks. Yeah, you can make a half a million of dollars out on the internet doing whatever you want to do, but you still got that non-exclusive right here with Global Sport Council. We appreciate that. We're going two on two in exhibition action against the formidable new tag team of Abaddon and Luna Vachon. Oh, a, a couple very, very crazy ladies. All right, moving on. Our semi-main event of the day, of the evening. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's finally flown over Scuff City. He's gonna drop down and give us all hot chocolate and stockings to unpack and enjoy. And in return, we're not leaving him cookies and milk. We're leaving him an opportunity in the multi-universal championship division. He goes one-on-one -on -one in an exhibition match against the 16th president in the first professional wrestling champion of the entire world, Mr. Abraham Lincoln, the creator of the choke slam, as a matter of fact. And in our main event, Global Sport Championship action. Oh yeah, as these two titans of the ring square off one-on-one -on -one for the first time. Bobby Lashley, the almighty, the former Global Sport Council lineage, WWE champion looks to reclaim the glory that he once had as he's mired in this league against the number seven ranked Kenny Omega. Best bout machine and one of the greatest professional wrestlers of this generation. And you can't tell me otherwise, it's gonna be a night of action to remember. All right. Let's get started with our first matchup of the evening. Okay, let's load in. Let's get fucking set, baby. Let's get fucking rocking and rolling. Kazuchika Okada, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling, six times its heavyweight champion. And you will see him January 4th go for it one more time against Switchblade Jay White. And he's also three times in a row the G1 winner. An unprecedented achievement in Japanese wrestling. Okada looking to show the world and all of time itself that the strong style is the best style. Brandon Brandon is the most decorated champion in the history of this league. Two times now with the World Heavyweight Championship, he's held the belt almost as long as this company's been in existence. He represents Global Sport Council in this Best of the World Series, Best in History Series, accompanied by his cohort in the California Collective, Sasha Banks. Will she be a factor in this match? I think respect will prevail. Let's fucking roll, baby. Let's fucking go! Am I too loud in the mix, though? That's what I need to know. You're fine? Sweet. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your opening match, and it is the 13th match in the All-Pro Wrestling Cup. 
approaching the ring first, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling. He weighed in tonight at 232 pounds, the Rainmaker, Kazutsuka Okada! Truly one of the top two, three competitors in all of Japan's history across any league. He's heralded a generation that has taken New Japan Pro Wrestling heights it has never seen before. And that is the absolute truth. The money rains down when Okada is in the house. Look at him going crazy in Scuff City for the Rainmaker. What a matchup we're gonna kick things off with here tonight, man. Hell to the year. Take it in, take it in. Longest individual reign as New Japan Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Most reigns as Heavyweight Champion. Longest cumulative days as Heavyweight Champion. Okada. Oh man. It's gonna be fucking litty. It's gonna be fucking litty, cuz. Fucking go, baby! Hey, Sasha's got her own little spotlight there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God, it's so fucking cool! It's so fucking cool! So oh, amazing. Rocking and rolling. Show what Global Sport Council action is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent representing the Global Sport Council. He went in tonight at 220 pounds even. He is one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Brandon. Over 17 months, cumulative World Tag Team Champion. More days as champion in Global Sport Council history. And it ain't even close. Brandon Brandon might be the number one guy in Global Sport Council today. Oh man, here we go, Okada. And Brandon, not laying on the ropes. He senses the importance here. This one-on-one -on -one match gets going. Locking up. Collar and elbow, center of the ring. Nice go behind by Mr. Brandon. Brandon picking up, putting him down. Wrestling takedown rolls out. Does Okada into a sit? Tries to break the grip, not gonna happen. Tries again, no. Okada, the power game not working. Brandon Brandon's got him hard on that. It just, oh, just wings him to the ground. Knife edge, chop connects. Oh, Brandon needs one back. Okada now, nice standing. STO, trip maneuver. Okada. Looks to get things going here. Nice arm drag counter. Brandon first up. Shot to the top of the head. Blocked by Okada. A shot to the guts. And a nice lunging forearm. Takes down Brandon. Brandon. Okada. Oh, goes for the senton splash. Runs into knees. That's not good so early in the match. Brandon, Brandon. Nice Irish whip. Okada in the corner. Go for the forearm. Oh, man. He ain't shit. Brandon, Brandon ain't shit in the corner, man. Look at him double over. Okada's watching him. He says, no, 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 I'm not getting baited in. He got it anyway. Made the first move. Slap away. Okada, whoa. Nice dart missile right there. Kind of a cross body block, but caught him with the arms. Brandon rolled to the outside apron. Okada with the right hand. No, gets blocked. And Brandon bringing it back in the ring. Oh, what an elbow, standing elbow. And then the shiver. Got him belly to belly. No, no, no. Okada making some space. Barely caught him that time. Barely caught him with the lawn dart. Okada doubled over in pain. He's hurting. Over a chop. Watch. Oh, there's a nice back body drop. Brandon hanging on. Oh, and a right hand takes him down all the way to the mat. Okada on top. Referee Paul Simpkins starting his count. 
Okada waiting for Brandon. He wants to dive off the top, my God. Do it, do it, Okada. Frozen in fear. Ah, uh, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, Brandon's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okada, statuesque on the top rope here. And uh, what do we got? Right, I'm gonna give this a five count and I'll fix it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a, that's a clean break. That's a fucking clean break right there. a stupid fucking move by Okada. Yeah, and here we go, back to the live action. Trying to instantly get a clean break. There you go, Okada, at least avoids that in the corner there. Went for that missile drop kick. Just ate a bunch of shit. Brandon Brandon with a single leg crab. There you go, cinching it up. Okada, you need to extend to get the ropes. He's gonna roll through, and a nice up kick takes Brandon Brandon down. Look at Brandon catching the kick. Will he drag and screw the leg? Yeah, pulling the ligaments out of Okada's knee there. This action continues fast and furious. Kazuchika Okada taking Brandon. Oh, to the apron for the third time. Brandon got him with the kick. Neutral position. Irish whip reverse. Brandon now in the corner. Okada to attack. Gets rolled around. Brandon now advantageous position. Double back, Okada now. Oh, it's a, a point of the elbow by Brandon. Go for this, look at this. Oh, it's gonna be a Falcon Arrow, I think. Okada, catching just at the right time. Got a toe hold, and I checked the contact on that headlock there. Nonetheless, he's got Brandon locked in pretty good. And, oh, look at Brandon breaking the grip. And the elbow backs Okada off. Trying to gain his bearings. Brandon, oh, walks into a forearm. Watch the second one, and oh, nice sidekick. Sliding through neutral position, center of the ring. Brandon, Brandon, now Falcon Arrow. This time he hits, this time he hits. Okada spine, put on the line with that Falcon Arrow. And Brandon, Brandon, oh, smells the juice of the Falcon Arrow. Looking to ball it, hits the ball and elbow. Travel through time, space, and dimension. Now to make the pin. Paul Sid gives the count two now. And Okada out at two. This, the 13th All Pro Wrestling Cup match. Win or die. Which league is the best? Brandon Brandis, this is the council. Oh, he hit him with the floating flatliner. Far leg hook, no rope break. Okada's out, Okada's out, Okada's out. Brandon took it. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Yeah! Take a look, there's that STF that Brandon got out of. He kept on pushing. You see that ball and elbow? Caught him with the, caught him with the rope and dope. He didn't know what side you were coming from, man. Confused them all to hell. And then this is what you finish him off with. Measured, delivered. The fucking floating flatliner popped his ass. Paul Simpkins counts to three. Oh shit, thought we lost it. The winner of the match has the result of a pinfall, Brandon. Brandon! Yeah! Oh, the California Collect is gonna be celebrating tonight. Gonna be celebrating tonight. That's what's up. Claps in the chat for Mr. Brandon. Brandon, folks. He came out and did the deal, man. I'm proud of you representing the council, baby. That's what's up. That's really, that's really what's up. Whew, you beat Okada. You beat Okada. 
That was awesome. What a show. What a show. He pressed on you, you know. He was a little, you know, he may have been the pressure. <laughs> the pressure may have got to him a little bit. I don't know. But uh, I do know that uh, I'm very happy to, to turn this 1-0 into a 2-0, my friend. And now look, now it's New Japan that's down bad. Liger out, Okada out. New Japan Pro Wrestling down to three. Just like that. Just like that, folks. All right, let's get the official results in here. Look at that. Seven and two in singles action. Look at that. That's pretty fucking cool. Kaz. Wow. Okada can't do it in the council. Drops to 0 and 4 for the season. A win as your gift. That, that wasn't no gift. He went out and got it. He just went out and got that shit. That was dope. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good Global Sport Council evening. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, Okada. He's done. You will you won't see him for the rest of the season. That's that. You know? Let's move on to our next one, man. All right. Women's tag team action. Coming at you. Livesky. No, not tag team. Tag team's next. <laughs> All-star championship action. Maggie Green. One of these upstarts coming in the late season. All right, saying, why have I got a look? Well, she's came, she got a couple looks. She's looking good. She's going one on one against the former champion, Asuka. Asuka was a long time all pro wrestling champion for being unseated after eight months. Eight months as champion by Violet Rose. Violet will defend the Global Sport Champion, the All Star Championship. My God. The Global Sport Council All Star Championship will be defended by Violet Rose at the untitled finale. Against who? We're fixing to find out. Maggie Green looking to make her claim. Looking to climb the ranks, man. But can she beat the Empress of tomorrow, today, and any other day of the week in Oscar? Let's pump it up and find out. Let's pump it up and find out. Nah, let's do that. Ew. contest is an exhibition match inside the all-star championship division and it's scheduled for one fall approaching the ring first residing in scuff city usa she went in today at 143 pounds maggie green maggie green's kind of a badass not gonna lie about that and uh you know brandon brandon the commissioner is rampant with speculation that Maggie Green is actually a sleeper cell agent for the NWO Wolfpack. I'm not, I'm not convinced, but I am happy that she is calling back to the Wolfpack, baby. Uh, don't turn your back on the motherfucking Wolfpack. Never be 
you know, so braggadocious to claim that fact. She just goes out every single time and shows you why she's one of the best, one of the strongest, one of the most technically profound, one of the best submission artists, one of the best strikers, one of the most captivating characters in all of professional wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, Asuka is a former champ for a reason. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. For a good reason. For a good reason. I am the future. Asuka needs that belt again, son. She needs that strap. But she's got to go through Maggie Green to get a look at it. And here we go, calling for a bell. This one-on-one -on -one match, Maggie Green straight at the gate. Crucifix! Taking down Asuka, but quick right there. Maggie Green, she's proved very quickly to be a tough some bitch in her own right. Send Asuka to the ropes, and a nice drop kick. Nice angle on that drop kick, in the heel right under the chin of Asuka. Taking Oscar now, Maggie Green, just flinging her off the top rope. Take a hard bump, she says. Oscar rolling through the kick from behind. Overhead shot, two in a row. Oh, laying it down on Maggie Green. The shots to the back. Green reversing it from the corner now. Irish whip reversed by Oscar. Oh, slide through, Maggie Green slid through. Oh, slammed her with the clothesline into the pinfall. Definitely got the surprise jump. Ah, not quite a one count as referee Paul Simpkins. This one-on-one -on -one matchup. Super kick, brushed away Asuka, straight out the gate. Irish with reverse, Maggie Green with a chance, drop down, Asuka back again. Leapfrog, one more time, and a drop kick! God damn with the drop kick, Maggie Green! She's taking the early stage of this match as her own. Maneuvering Asuka, oh, oh damn, with a double stomp! That looked like it hurt, and Maggie Green says, <laughs> I got you. I got you. Don't even worry about it. Asuka, nice arm drag with the counter green. Maybe the air whipped out of her. Asuka pumping up for the kick. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Green A1. Maggie Green ate it straight to the face. And she may have rebounded back, but the damage is done with that buzzsaw kick. It's Asuka now. Goes for the calf kick. Gets swept away. Rolls behind Asuka. Nice deep arm drag. A kick to the chest. Asuka trying to take control. Pulls Maggie Green up. It's gonna slide through. Side kick. Green now on Asuka. Goes for the thrust kick with the faint thrust. Whiffs Asuka. Got Green in the corner. Hip attack. Oh, she landed high on the turnbuckle. Straight right hand missing that hip attack. Green pushes off neutral position. Goes for the thrust kick one more time. Counter! What a counter by Asuka! Hitting Maggie Green with that German suplex. That's a forearm shot, straight. Drop toe hold, transition. In the STF, we saw Okada utilizing this against uh, Brandon Brandon. Earlier, Maggie Green gonna get out of that. Gonna get out of that, she's got the fight left in her. Spinning back this, damn! And one right back! A knife edge chop back by Maggie Green. Front face lock, breaks the wrist. It's Asuka, oh no! Falling down with the arm breaker. Kick to the shoulder. Attacking the head, attacking the arm. That's good for Asuka. And now hanging Maggie Green out to drive by God. Asuka, doing well in this match. It's a jawbreaker, Maggie Green. The chance to turn it around. The knee blocked by Asuka, kick to the leg. One more Irish whip, Maggie Green from behind. Taking the leg of Asuka now. Oh, oh no, oh no! There's a lot of leverage on that lever right there. The knee going right in the pit of Asuka's. Maggie Green out, slate shot, place drop on the apron. Maggie Green's cooking with some oil right now. Up to the top rope. Asuka's prone, what she got? Oh no! Doomsday leg drop. She ate it all on her ass. Ass first is not the way to go, man. That's gonna hurt like a some bitch. Into a pinfall. No rope break. Yeah, we got a one count on it though. Maggie Green. Uh-oh. See her huffing some air. Call him to the crowd to give her some of the juice. Can she take Oscar out? Nice double sledge. Two in a row. Little pulley hammers right there. Rolling through the gargano kick. 
stuns Asuka. She's prone in the corner. Maggie Green now taking a run. Oh, blocked by Asuka in neutral position. The hand blocked by Maggie Green. Oh, there's a, that was a drop kick to the knee. That was a basement drop kick. That's when you fake it out. Asuka trying to survive. He's the dragon screw. She's got Green's, oh, she's got Green stunned. Look at the kicks now. The kicks connecting. Oh no, oh no, the spinning heel kick one more time. The kill kick, Asuka falls into the pin. Count two, will it be enough? It's enough. Asuka taking a pin right there. Oh no. Whoa, that buzzsaw kick, man. Here we go, look at Maggie Green, scraping and scratching. Maggie did good, no doubt about that, Kamish. She did really good. Utilized a lot of techniques, but you can see, you see right there in that replay, she's already hopping air. She's technically sound, but she ain't got the gas tank of Asuka. Boom! Oh, that was, dude, that was plunk. That was a fucking plunk. Well, she may have just earned the finisher right at that point. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is the result of a pinball. Asuka! You see fucking Maggie Green just rolling unceremoniously out of the ring, flopping out of the ring. I'm sure Maggie Green had one up her sleeve, too. All right. Let's put this shiznit in. Maggie Green. Well, this is her first singles match, too, so can't be too hard on her. Maggie. Maggie, is there an E at the end of green? We'll just assume there is. Well, kid, you came out, you did your best. It's commendable. Unfortunately for you on this night, you are a loser, but you did your best. We ain't seen the last of Maggie Green, that's for sure. But the winner of the match. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Os Oscar's not had a singles match? Man. I've not represented the women well this year. That's man alive. Asuka. Good for Asuka. She looked good. Hell yeah. And boo. She was hurt. <laughs> hey, she did her best. You know, she did her best. I know, we want, we, we're, we're with the youth movement now. We want to get these people looking good. Asuka's had the belt, but she did good, you know? She did good. There, you know, we ain't seen the last of Maggie Green. I think she did just fine. Oh, I forgot. Why well, didn't fucking, here, I didn't sw switch over to this. You see Asuka right, right over, uh, right over Chia. See ya. Got her win in there. Maggie Green. Sorry about that, folks. Maggie Green right here. And I see that I'm on Scuff City Live and not the Christmas edition. Fucking god damn it, you know. Merry Christmas from Global Sport Council. 12, 25, 2022. Okay, well, there we go. There we go. All right. The women's action is not over here tonight. As I have a, I have a special Christmas gift for Brandon, which wasn't the win. It's Gigi Dolan and Mandy Rose in tag team action. They are making their debuts in Global Sport Council. Their in-ring debuts. We saw Mandy Rose last week coming in and interfering on behalf of Callie Edwards. And it was revealed later that Callie Edwards is now part of Toxic Attraction. Manny Rose bringing that business with her from NXT all the way to GSC. And Gigi Dolan's coming with her. Callie Edwards sitting pretty as the Global Sport Champion. Toxic Attraction 
want some straps of their own. They are a formal tag team going two on two against Abaddon and Luna Vachon. All right, no, they're not a tag team together, but they are two crazy ass motherfucking broads. All right, and they are gonna bring the fight to Toxic Attraction in their debut. Let's pump this shit up. Let's get ready. I wish you good luck in the locker room after my match. I wasn't wearing my shirt too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh god, I love it. Let's fucking rock and roll. Tree here tonight. GNR and Mandy Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. Approach to the ring first. From under the dark moon, she went in tonight at 140 pounds, Luna Vashon! Luna Vashon, of course, the son of Mad Dog Vashon, a multi- Oh, Jesus Christ! She stole out of the ring towards the people there! What was she doing? I'm proving a rocket queen, that's what I'm doing. Luna Vashon's crazy, man! Truly a trendsetter and a generational talent. Miss Luna Vachon, 100%. 150%, man. She's crazy. She's also, while we get into Abaddon's thing, Luna Vachon's also the first female to be in a professional wrestling video game. So how about that? How about that? Oh, God. If Luna Vachon's crazy, what the fuck is Abaddon? Unless she's a living dead girl. Thank you, Tron. Abaddon, like something out of your fucking nightmares. Yeah. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist on this plane of existence with the rest of us. Something else entirely, baby. Something else entirely. And her partner from Parts Unknown. She went in tonight at 168 pounds. Abaddon! Man, Abaddon's so cool. You know what AEW's really been missing lately is Abaddon. <laughs> what are y'all doing in the locker room? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it's nothing but harmless banter. <laughs> Look at this crazy ass fucking person. Yeah, Abaddon went all out, didn't she? She definitely went all out. Damn, that's a shot and a half. Someone give me a screen grab of that shot. That was what's up. That was fucking dope as hell. Yeah, Abaddon doesn't really care too much if you live or if you die, if you're hurt or if you're great, all right? But when it's on the line, it's on the line. Hell yeah. And their opponents representing Toxic Attraction at a total combined weight of 320 pounds, Mandy Rose and Gigi Dolan! Hell yeah, coming out in style. Mandy Rose making a statement last week. WWE may be done with her, but she ain't done with pro wrestling. Coming out looking good with Gigi Dolan, doing the damn thing as Toxic Attraction. Looking to prove that she's more than just the hair or 
a makeup or a breast, all right? And what she does in the ring is the most important thing. And she's looking to look good against Abdon and Luna Bashan. Gigi Dolan, Brandon Brandon can help me out with that, but she's along for a ride. And she wants some tag team straps more than just about anything. Here we go. Dolan gonna start things off with Luna. Referee Paul Simpkins calling for the bell, and here we go. Gigi, no, straight out the gate with a clothesline. Oh, just about leveled Luna. Yeah. Forearm shot. The second one blocked. Gigi Dolan's one of her own. And a hair mare, a hair whip, rather. Oh, no, going outside of the ring. Gigi Dolan just falling right after her. They're going to punch it out outside of the ring. Luna Vachon, spin kick blocked by Dolan. She's taking the crazy to Luna before Luna can take it to her. I assure you, that's the thought that is going on here. Oh, nice sidekick slipping through is Luna Vachon. As referee Paul Simpkins counts to three on the outside and a sidekick for Gigi. Luna Vachon, Luna Vachon says, yeah, I've had enough of this. Pulled in the ring, nice body slam incoming. Oh, Michinoku driver put her flat. Put her flat on the mat right there with that one. And look at that, pulling Gigi Dolan to the wrong side of the ring. Gets a tag to Abaddon. The living dead girl from parts seriously unknown. Going for Irish whip, reverse Dolan. Got Abaddon in the corner. Abaddon to reverse the position. Back elbow. And Mandy Rose coming in. Yeah. Looking to get involved here in this sequence. Paul Simpkins says, no, 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 don't do that. Dolan gaining the advantage off that distraction, perhaps, as Fireman's Carry. Oh, but Abaddon with Fireman's Carry to, cut, to, to counter that. Back and forth, left hand. Oh, a right arm. Oh, forearm shivers two in a row by Dolan. Abaddon shoving off neutral position, running close like Duck Thunder. Dolan with a shot, pulls her up. Nice standard spine buster. Pick her up, put her down. Dolan thinks she dropped her heart. She thinks she dropped her heart. With the shot, oh no! Tuna World face buster into the cover. No one to stop it. Abaddon's down for two and a half. Woo, two and a half. Yeah, Luna's like, let's go. But Luna's like, maybe I should have came in as that Tuna World face buster. What a move by Dolan. Abaddon, thankfully for their team, survived. Double knees in the corner, Dolan misses. It's nothing but turnbuckle. Snap DDT! By Abaddon, turning the tide with that one. What an impact off that DDT. Gonna turn it around into the pin. Manny Rose not coming in, leaves in Gigi. Count two, two count only. Two count only for Abaddon. Both ladies up, neutral position. Nice lunging, drop kick. Guys said I knew it was wrong when I said it. Clothesline by God, by Gigi Dolan. Irish whip into the corner. Will she be looking to a tag? Can't get there in time. Abaddon with a front elbow pulls her. Gut wrench position. Up. Oh, they're so all oh, and down for the oh down for the gut buster. What a maneuver by Abaddon. Gigi Dolan looking to recover. Double arm wrench keeping Abaddon in the favorite corner. That suplex. Gonna hit! Gonna hit! Abaddon head first on the hard part of the ring. Now the tag to Mandy Rose. who made such a statement last week coming in on this match. Facing off against Abaddon here. Irish whip, Rose sent into the corner. Oh, and a big time splash. Big time splash sends Mandy Rose down. Well, it is a bad timing for Mandy Rose to come in. His Abaddon catches the leg. She wants the basement. Hurricane Rana. Oh, no, the Hurricane Rana driver. Mandy Rose ate it hard on that. Into the pinfall. Is anyone coming in? Gigi's not coming in. Two count only. Wow, two count only. Popped her hard. Now tagging in the fresh Luna Vashon. She said, finish this bitch off. Vashon looking to do just that. Looking to steal the heat. Rob King swiped away. Both ladies, neutral position. Elbow to the leg. Mandy Rose now with a shot. Armage, side rush, and leg sweep connects. Not so fast, says Mandy Rose. Luna Vashon, that's a nice arm drag. Kick to the head. Oh, no, that was right to the fucking head, wasn't it? Damn. Kick to the guts by Manny Rose. Pump knee, oh no! Caught Luna hard on the side of the head. What a knee! Damn, what a pump knee by Mandy Rose. Representing toxic attraction to the fullest here. Small and Zagiri didn't get all of it. 
Didn't get all of it. Saito suplex. Oh, she got all of that one, though. What a heave. What a hoe. For Luna Vachon, man, is launching Mandy Rose. Phone up. The Luna Bomb. The Luna Bomb connects. Can't transition. Can't transition into a pin. Rose had the ropes. And Mandy Rose now trying to recover from such a move. Deep, deep arm drag. Vachon keeping the pressure on from the back. German suplex, oh, Rose landed on her feet. Right hand, no. And the kick connects. Look at Sean. Oh, just ate a slap to the face. Mandy Rose, look at this. Between the thighs of Mandy Rose. Oh, no. Into a driver, pinfall combination. Gigi Dolan, she's going to stop Abaddon. Oh, Luna Vashon kicked out at two, though. That was quite a surprise move. That was quite, it's like a driver. Luna Vachon says, let's fight outside. Mandy Rose acquiescing. And just, oh no. Just whips Luna Vachon onto the apron. Mandy Rose is a very powerful woman. Slap and a knife edge chop. Vachon to give it back. Kick blocked by Rose. Shot to the knee running at her. And a bomb, big body slam on the outside. These ladies in the danger zone here. Gigi Dolan watching on, roll through. Luna Vachon, nice. Nice trip up. Oh, and a fall down arm wrench. Luna Vachon keeping the pressure on. Arm wrench pulls her. Sticks it with it. And a knee. Holding the pressure on the arm. Nice sequence on the outside of the ring. You don't really see that on the outside. And Mandy Rose has had enough. Pulls Luna Vachon in. Luna wants the tag. Can Mandy get to her? Yeah, she got to her in time. Oh, Luna Vachon pop up and Gary. Mandy Rose can't get the tag. They're still both in. Luna Vachon sucking her in. The Luna Bomb. The Luna Bomb. She got all of it. Into the pinfall. You got to come in here. Ref the count. No one's in. Count two. And two, two, two. Mandy Rose out at two. Luna whips the drop kick. Mandy Rose, look at his military press. Into the face. Oh, my God. Now that's a face buster. Swings the tag to Gigi Dolan. Luna Vachon is just out right now. Just out. Gigi Dolan, can she finish it off? Big right hand by Luna. Oh, look at that. Irish whip into the favorite corner. Will she get a tag? Oh, look at that. Well, she's just got Gigi Dolan hung up in a tree of woe here. Mandy, Mandy Rose, what's going on here? Hey, can you get her off? Can you, can you get her off? Hey, Paul, can you get her off? Oh, no. Luna Vachon from the top rope going coast to coast with the drop kick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Luna Vachon jumped 20 feet to put her boots in Gigi Dolan's face. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, go for the pin here. Paul Simpkins to count. It'll be two. Will it be enough? No. No, GG Dolan. Oh, just at the last second. <laughs> Luna Vachon wanted a drop kick. Oh, Mandy Rose. Oh, no, she's going to. Oh, she paid for it. She paid for it. Gigi Dolan is out. Now Luna crawling for a tag. She got the tag first to Abaddon. Gigi Dolan, what are you going to do? Swipes away. Uh, swipes away Abaddon. Abaddon with a swipe. Yak is a kick. Oh no, but oh no. And a clothesline, oh my god. First the elbow, then the clothesline. And another running forearm. Abaddon coming in, working hard on Gigi Dolan. Standard spine buster, dropped her down. Gigi Dolan out of desperation. Into the pinfall, Luna's down. Will that be enough? No, no. Abaddon out at two. This match rolls on. Gigi Dolan making Abaddon with it. Oh no, went for a spinning something or other. And a big time bulldog. Oh, you see the blood starting to drip on my Gigi Dolan, my God. Shot to the chest. Abaddon, oh no. The rocker dropper. Hit her with the rocker dropper. And into a pinfall here. She's gonna put the feet on the rope. The feet are on the rope too. Oh no. Gigi Dolan still somehow a bloody Gigi Dolan still in this. Blocks the discus forearm. Gigi Dolan, Irish whip. Abaddon getting swiped away. Gigi Dolan got her up on her. 
Shoulders in. No. Oh, no. Reverse DDT. Gigi Dolan wants the tag so bad. Mandy Rose wants the tag so bad. Abaddon being a brick wall about it. Single leg crab. Locked in. Wrong side of the ring. Can Gigi Dolan survive this? Mandy Rose not coming to her aid. Believes in Gigi. Gigi believe in herself. Oh, he kicks Abaddon off. Finally kicks Abaddon off. Abaddon right back up. Neutral position. Abaddon with the hit. There's the corner. Misses the splash. Gigi Dolan just, just stumbled out of that splash. In the ropes. Big time knee. Nice counter. Gigi Dolan desperately. One more time with the spine buster. One more time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you did it. You need to tag or pin. You need to do something. Oh no! Abaddon popped up. Popped up, definitely made her pay for that. And Gigi Dolan, Iron Man in it. Look at Mandy Rose in the corner. She can't take it. She's going crazy. So, two in a world face buster. Will she bend? She'll go for the pin towards the center of the ring. Luna Vachon to stop it too. Oh no, oh, what a big collision. What a big collision. But they did stop the pin. Mandy Rose falls to the outside. Luna's up on the apron. Was that Gigi Dolan's shot on? Oh, big double sledge. Takes her down. The camel clutch. Hip attack. Abaddon measuring Gigi right now. Uh-oh. Is she going to hit it for the second time? Mandy Rose is down and out. Kinex! Kinex! Hurricane Rana driver. In the wrong part of town. That's got to be all for Gigi. Oh, my God. The blood. Count one. Kill two, will it be enough? That's gonna be it right there. That's gonna be it right there. What a match. What a match. Look at this tilt a world face buster right there. Boom. What a move. Gigi. Gigi was in for a minute. Mandy Rose desperately wanted that tag. Look at that. Oh my god, the military press face buster. Gigi tried her hardest, man. But it's like, she would get attacked every time she went for a tag. She pushed as hard as she could, hitting multiple standard spine busters. But in the end, the winners of the match, the team of Luna Vachon. Good Abaddon! Yeah. <laughs> Gigi Dolan paid in blood for that effort. And Abaddon took it out of her. That was a great match, Kamish. That was something else. That was something else. Gigi did great. Mandy did fine. Give it up to Abaddon and Luna in this one, man. That was a that was a nuts. That was a nuts match. That was great. All right, let's get these in here, folks. Luna, Vashon, and Abaddon. That was a that was a that was a good match, man. Good teams, good teams. Toxic Attraction, GG Dolan, Mandy. Sad to see Gigi and Mandy, you know, lose it on their debut after getting the juice. Definitely, but it was a hard-fought loss, and uh, they should be proud of their efforts tonight. Definitely, definitely fucking came and showed out, man. That was dope. Whew. Luna and Abaddon got it, man. They done did it. I'm going to give her my bandana to stop the bleeding. <laughs> hey, you're pretty band. You're pretty uh, banged up there. Here, let me um here. Let me press this here. 
tough loss. Tough loss, you know. It's hard in this league, but uh, as you can see, I beat Okada, so, you know, I know I know how it goes around here. Oh, man. I love it. I fucking love it. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. Let's, let's actually keep it rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. All right? People are singing merrily in the new old-fashioned way. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices screaming, let's be jolly, deck the halls with boughs of holly. Anyway, Abraham Lincoln versus Santa Claus tonight. Oh, yeah. I already told you the lore. You have an endorsement deal with bandanas. Bet, 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 dude. <laughs> Santa Claus... Santa Claus came by today as it was Christmas, and I was so happy to see him. And he provided much joy to my household today, and uh, I was very thankful. I did not have any cookies and milk to give to him, but what I did have was an opportunity in the multi-universal championship division. And that, since Santa Claus has done so much for me, let me give you this shot. All right, but you're going to be facing a good one, Santa. You're going to be facing the 16th president of these United States. You're going to be facing the inventor of the choke slam hold. All right. And one of the earliest recognized world champions of professional wrestling. Abraham Lincoln. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, let's go Santa. Let's go Lincoln. There's no bad guys here. This is simply exhibition action. All right. Santa Claus getting a look here tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, sleigh bells ring, are you listening? On the hill, it is glistening. Beautiful sight, oppressively wide. Looking at a winter wonderland. Something like that. Let's fucking, let's fucking get it rocking! an exhibition match in the Global Sport Council Multi-Universal Championship Division. Approaching the ring first. I don't know where Abraham Lincoln is from, but he's from America, if you were wondering. Weighing in tonight at 261 pounds, Abraham Lincoln! Fuck yeah, Lincoln and Liberty 2. As among the other things that I was talking about, this song that you're hearing right now was the biggest hit of the 1860s, of the entire decade, okay? You wanna talk about Rihanna? You wanna talk about Taylor Swift, all right? You wanna talk about Metallica, all right? This is the shit in 1860. Very nice, very nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah, the music, the fucking Titantron, you know. Global Sport Council, folks, you won't get action like this anywhere else. And his opponent from the North Pole, weighing in tonight at 358 pounds. Jolly old Saint Nick, Santa Claus. Now he had a Titan Tron. Don't know what happened to that, but uh, there's Kofi's Tron. But please, Pete, please, Pete, little John, dropping 16 on our asses just for the Merry Christmas episode. Yeah, Lincoln, looking ready, Santa. <laughs> He's been ready for this his whole life, apparently. And here we go. Paul Simpkins calling for a bell. Shot to the gut. That ain't going to do too much. Accounts. Big ass Saint Nick here. Oh, so oh, knife edge chop. Just about rocked. Now, 
Abraham Lincoln is six foot five inches tall. How the fuck big is Santa Claus? Are you kidding me? He's taking off his robe. Oh no! Knee hook clothesline by Abraham Lincoln. Freeing the brain cells out of Santa's head right there. Santa nice, oh! Oh, execution DDT! The leverage, he popped his ass to Lincoln. Standing out from behind, standing switch by the former world champion, Abraham Lincoln. And Santa going behind himself, says fuck it, back suplex, folded Abraham Lincoln over. Big time connect on that one. Oh, a shot to the fucking ribs. This time up again. Nope. Lincoln slides behind this time. The reverse DDT. Santa rolling from behind, standing switch again. Chops the leg out. Nice kick by Abraham Lincoln. Santa Santa into the turnbuckle. Oh no! What a Uranagi by Santa Claus! Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! He fucking he took all the air out of Abraham Lincoln with that one. My god, the power! And hanging Abraham just out to dry. Take a hard one, man. Santa, oh, gets his chop blocked. Kick to the gut, Santa stays in control. Lincoln doubled over. Snapping the DDT on his ass. Yes, he popped him. He popped him good to Santa Claus. Dragging him, no rope breaks for Abraham Lincoln here. Into the pinfall, Simpkins right there to count. Will he get two? Just two, two, a solid two though. I like St. Nick's music. All I really want, all I want for Christmas. Oh yeah, Santa Claus, oh shit. He's put the end times. Oh, this time, he's got him up. Samoan driver two! Santa with the Samoan driver two! Took three attempts, but he finally flattened Abraham Lincoln with the Samoan driver two into the pinfall. Count two, no! Oh, Abraham Lincoln says you're not gonna beat the 16th president of these United States just like that. Four score and 80 seconds ago. All right, you were whipping my ass, but today is a new day. Today's a new day for America. Oh, God. Northern Lights suplex. Apropos for jolly old St. Nick. They can get a little space. Nice Hurricane Rana. Nice Hurricane Rana taking old St. Nick down. Joint. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a big arm to fold the wrong way. Lincoln on fire. Oh, rolling kick. Didn't quite get there. Shot to the bread basket. Too many cookies perhaps for Santa tonight. He was doubled over. Irish whip Santa in the turnbuckle. Oh, nice. Nice uppercut. <laughs> and a flip flop by Abraham Lincoln, showing the people he's down. European uppercut by Santa. The crowd is going nuts for this match, by the way. Lincoln kicked to the guts. Irish whip blocked. Into the corner goes Lincoln. Santa Claus now. Oh, no. Eats the big foot. Lincoln. Big right hand. Claus coming right back. They're fighting tooth and nail here. Oh, the super kick didn't have the height. Didn't have the height back elbow. Santa's rock kick to the guts. Leaking Tiger power bomb. The Tiger power bomb connects into the pin. Santa Claus. Oh man, Santa Claus out at one. And what is Abraham Lincoln gonna have to do to survive? Jack Frost here tonight. He's making a list, he's checking it twice. But the list ain't little boys and girls. The list is badass wrestling maneuvers. He's got Lincoln up again. Oh, Abraham Lincoln countered. He wanted that Samoan driver too. Claws going for that Samoan driver too, man. Lincoln. Woo! Surviving just by a beard hair. Oh, Santa. He's getting worked up about it. Sends Lincoln into the turnbuckle. Oh no, Malcolm shot. Mashing the face of Abraham Lincoln into the turnbuckle. My God, man. Yeah. Claws now, getting a little tired. Puts his weight on Lincoln. Will he get it from there? Two count only. You gotta think the gas tank's probably better in Lincoln, but Santa Claus does this for 24 hours straight. Yeah, it's once a year, but he still does it. The man don't stop moving through time, space, and dimension for 24 straight hours. Is that power enough to take down 
Abraham Lincoln. Santa's chill in the corner. Oh, Abraham Lincoln should have saw that coming. Kick to the guts. Lincoln with a nice block. Claws taken down. Lincoln, right, oh no! Look at that deep seated, deep seated Boston Crab! Santa's bent over backwards! Is he gonna survive? Is he gonna, oh, he pushes out! He pushes out of the Boston Crab! Man, Lincoln had that in. He had that in good, man. Just shoving Lincoln into the turnbuckle. Oh, look at Abraham Lincoln reversing the space here. Oh, a shot, to, oh God, shot to the bridge of the nose of Santa. Santa now, eats a kick to the gut. Lincoln, over a shot blocked by Santa. Nice right hand, Santa Claus now. He's got him, snap, DDT! Oh, he popped him hard for the second time with that snap, DDT. Will that be enough to keep Lincoln down? Count one, Simpkins to count two, is that gonna take his ass down? Santa Claus! Oh, yeah! The winner of the match has a result of a pinball! Santa Claus! Oh yeah! Say gonna do it the date on Christmas Day! You couldn't have written it better! Don't be don't don't feel so dejected, Abraham Lincoln. You did great! Abraham Lincoln, give it up for the 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. He put forth a valiant effort, but in the end, the size, the mass, the gas tank of Santa Claus, just too heavy for Abraham Lincoln to fucking persevere through. Yeah, even after a 24-hour shift, he did it. He did it, all right? It's actually during his 24-hour shift. It's fucking Christmas Day right now. Whew. That's what's up. What a banger by Santa and Abraham Lincoln. I will take that. All right, let's put this in. Let's uh <laughs> Let's put this shit in. Santa Plus, there it is, folks. There it is. He did the deed. Why does that say A? It should say points. Abraham Lincoln, 0 and 2. Well, we probably won't see him anymore for the rest of the season unless we really need something cooking for the multi universal title. He did his best, folks. He did do his best. Oh. We will see him next year. We will see Santa next year, that's for sure. Now, folks, it is time for our main event of the evening. Very happy. To bring you this matchup here all right let's bring up let's uh let me just uh bring up the uh the round robin grid here we'll take a quick look all right the global sport championship round robin series continues here all right match three are we gonna work them all you know we're not gonna work them all all right but we'll we do what we do here we got great matchups here so for the first time this series, Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one against Kenny Omega, the best bout machine. And this is a Vince McMahon book. That's right. I loaded up. I looked at the book in front of me. I changed four of the five matches. This one was set in the main event, and I said, you know what, Vince? That's a great fucking idea. So there we go. Lashley and Omega coming together here tonight. What am I doing here? What the fuck button am I pushing? Ah, okay. Yeah, that's the button I'm pushing. Whew. Bobby Lashley, two-time WWE champion, one-time ECW World Heavyweight Champion, three-time Impact Wrestling World Champion, undefeated in Bellator MMA action, one-on-one -on -one against Kenny Omega, who's the only man to simultaneously hold the AEW World Championship, the Impact Wrestling World Championship, the TNA World Championship, in the AAA 
Mega Compleones World Championship. All right, talking about two generational athletes, and uh, they are ready to fucking get it going. I should be one to know in this after my win earlier. No, that wasn't this. No, that was that was the All Pro Cup. No, that was the All Pro Cup. That wasn't this. You're in. You're in this too, and you'll have your turn here. You'll have your turn here too. I think you're. Uh, there's like one or two more matches after this, and you'll have to have gone. It still counts. Yeah, you got the win in the All Pro Cup. You're two and zero there. You're seven and two in singles competition overall. What a what a fucking year. What a year. You get to pick your opponent out of everyone that's that's left. We'll look over the the grid one more time. I'm, I'll keep on looking over at the grid while I'm talking to you. We'll look over the grid one more time after this match. Let's pump it up for the main event. These two tight. These two fucking badass some bitches. Get ready to get it on one more time. Pull your mind. Who are you fighting here? Who'd you fight in this? The following contest is the main event of the evening, and it's scheduled for one fall with no time limit. Also, this is the third match in the Global Sports Championship Round Robin Series. Approach of the ring first from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in tonight at 268 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. I was trying to be funny, and it failed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get your tone when I'm reading it. You know what I'm saying. The almighty. Bobby Lashley still carrying the torch of the Hurt Business, by the way. Let's go, Lashley. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. And no, I will not be securing the rights to carry on my wayward son. You want every single video to be fucking blocked permanently. And I don't give a fuck about that song also, so. This, this is more than fine. Yeah, Kansas sucks. Ain't no, ain't no way about it. I love when the video freezes. It's always right there on his forlorn face. Oh shit, he's coming out looking good as fuck though. He is coming out looking good. Give me the give me the nameplate. Give me the nameplate. And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. He went in tonight at 241 pounds. The best. Belt Machine, Kenny Omega! The one-winged angel returns once again to Global Sport Council action. Both of these men looking to stake their claim for the Global Sport Championship. Bobby Lashley, one of the final Global Sport Council lineage WWE champions. He knows what it's like to hold this belt. He knows what it's like to be on top of a division. Can he come back up one more time? Or will Kenny Omega finally make his rise in the council? Referee Paul Simpkins calling for the belt. And this main event is on, baby. Oh, shit. Bobby Lashley, military press slam straight out the fucking gate. No, not again. He's the most. Oh, dropped him down on his guts. Omega feeling the pain very early in this match. He's got a hold of Lashley though. Oh, nice, nice. The clutch backbreaker. 
carnival tie-up. Lashley getting the jump, perhaps, on Lashley is why he's able to push him to the turnbuckle. Omega's got power, but he ain't got Lashley power. That's for damn sure. Nice clean break. Omega just rushes in and close lines Lashley down to the mat. Oh, Lashley runs into a European uppercut and a beastman drop kick. And the almighty out and back in looking to reset. Omega can't see it coming. Look at the electric chair drop right there. And Omega getting caught on that one. He definitely got caught on that one. Lashley. Yeah, he wants the pace that he had at the beginning, which was picking motherfuckers up and dropping them down non-stop. Nice short arm clothesline. He put a lot of stank on it. The Kenny Omega, that body drop. And Lashley, keeping the momentum on his side. And we're going back and forth here, short arm, short arm block. Oh, and there's the kitchen sink. Throwing the guts of Bobby Lashley. Omega connects with precision. Leg trap in this double arm stretch. Oh no, Lashley's got an arm free. Still got that arm stretch. Stretching the side to the latissimus dorsi and the fucking, uh, you know, Caribbean, uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but look at Omega just holding it on Lashley, or maybe Lashley's just letting him do it because it makes him feel good about himself. Body slam. No, just got him on his shoulders, which he got with Lashley here. Just holding him, 260 pounds plus, just holding him. But uh, you gotta do something when you're working with Bobby Lashley. You slip behind and chop the leg right out of Kenny Omega right there. Nice neck breaker, oh no. And Omega, man, I'm calling Omega half asleep at the wheel. There you go, wake his ass up, Lashley. Multiple stomps to the chest. And Omega might be taking the wrong game plan. Oh shit, pump me connects. Omega taking strong style into it, just letting Lashley run rough shot. But I don't think Kenny Omega's got enough in him to take a beating from someone like Bobby Lashley. Look at that! Look at that slingshot suplex! You can't just let a man do that to you. Omega's gonna get caught behind the eight ball very quickly. Look at this. Look at this vertical suplex! Holding Omega's ass like this! Like it's nothing! And Lashley one and you gotta put Omega down again! Into the pinfall. Is that enough to keep the best bow machine down? Not quite two. Not quite two. Well, I agree. I agree with that assessment. Not quite two. Omega's taking a lot worse. But uh, he does find himself behind the proverbial eight ball right now against Lashley. Creating a little space. Omega running at him. Sling blade's going to connect. One of my least favorite moves right next to the Meteora. Into the cover now. Yeah, one. Lucky to get a one off of that is Omega. Goes for the drop kick to the back of the dome, and Lashley, Lashley's no seen it coming. Oh, back elbow, didn't see that one coming. Big time right hand by Omega. Oh, he's popped up Lashley. He know what he wants. Oh, no, no, caught him with the German. Fade the one-winged angel. What a German suplex by Omega. Got Lashley right where he wants him. Omega off the top rope. <laughs> Attempts the weakest chop ever, gets swiped away. Bad move, Omega. That's the center of the corner. Just taken down, bulldog takedown. By the all army wrestler. Yeah, he was all army. Bobby Lashley. Runs to the turnbuckle. Snap, Hurricane Rana into the pinfall. Nope. Lashley out at one, can't quite get up. Omega mocking him. Uh oh. Oh, shit. And Omega measuring Bobby Lashley. You know he wants it this time. The one winged angel incoming. Is there enough space to connect? There is into the pin. He's got Lashley all folded up. Two now. Will it be three? Omega got him with the one winged angel. Damn. Damn. Paul Simpkins has been an A plus tonight. 100% agree. 100% agree. Paul Simpkins. So glad to have you back, man. So glad to have you back. Man, Kenny Omega. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of a pinfall, Kenny Omega. And Omega putting out his hand. Oh, Lashley says, get that the fuck out of here. Oh, Lashley's pissed. He caught you, Bobby. He caught you with the one-winged angel. No chicanery. 
Lashley on, whew, unhappy to take that loss. And you know Lashley, and you know Lashley, no stranger, no stranger to showing his feelings, man. All right, we're gonna leave you with that shot right here on Christmas Day 2022. Jesus Christ. All right, we're not gonna leave you like that because the double music is killing me. Thanks, bro. Thanks. I can't. I can't yell into the the double the double music. It just fucking pisses me off. We're gonna put in the results. We're gonna put in the results, and we'll take another quick look here at this bracket. All right, Lashley eating the loss to Kenny Omega. Uh, right here. We'll give that the O. Omega two and O in this son bitch. Pretty good. Good for him. Pretty good. That's nice. Brandon, next show, you're on in this one. You can pick any one of these sons of bitches that you like. We want more. It's Christmas. I got to eat dinner. I haven't even eaten yet today. I swear it. I swear it. All right, let's put the official results in. That was a hell of a match. That was really a hell of a match. Bobby Lashley. Well, you see, there you go. But no wonder Bobby Lashley's pissed off. He's 0-3. He ain't doing shit. He ain't doing good. Kenny Omega. That's got to feel good for Omega. He's 1-3 at this point. Climbs to 2-3. Good for him. I did it tonight. I'm not wrestling till the pay-per-view. I did it tonight because it was Christmas. Word. Word. And since you're 2-0 and in the All-Pro Cup... All right, you're not eligible for a couple swings around the spinners, all right? Well, folks, as this Christmas evening comes to a close and we, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at. Um, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. From myself and all of us here at Global Sport Council, we wish you and yours the best of Christmases and holiday seasons. And we look forward to celebrating the new year with you. You guys have been a wonderful audience. And I've had a wonderful time. And thank you guys for stopping in on this, on this amazing evening of Christmas cheer. And Santa Claus fucking did it! All I really want. All I want for Christmas. All I really want. What a show. We'll see you next time, guys.